Assalamu alaikum brothers, all praises due to Allah, and all wars due to the white man. Basically, if you look back at it, you know, the more I investigate the religion of peace that is Islam, the more I realize that Christianity is a religion of war. Sitting right next to me is the brother of Gavin McInnes and the son of Jimmy McInnes. He's a progressive liberal activist, Miles McInnes. He's author of the new book, Bush Lied, Babies Cried, and a Panda Died. Turning water into fire. That's like Jesus in reverse. Well, where do you get these facts? <laughs> what do you mean? Go look it up. They can light their tap water on fire. What yeah, right. Uh, oh my god, what happened to your hands? That was freaky, dude. Oh my god, it was like Darth Vader and then I could sort of feel it, but I couldn't feel it. Oh, gross. How does a Marine need a job? He's in Afghanistan. Yeah, neither of these are facts. Oh, this is insane. I don't know and why I do this show. <laughs> Native American's not a language. Yes, it is. What Have you ever heard of when they go like, <laughs> what is that? We're English? I don't that. Surprise, because I thought that you would have been on the side of a political prisoner. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have been Since if you, you hadn't Zemble made one. fun of a beautiful <laughs> culture of peace called <laughs> Islam. And when he made that video, he made guys launch RPGs into the embassy. But uh, that was, that's been disproven. It was actually a planned attack. Uh, no, it just looked like a planned attack because that's how mad they were because that's how bad the video was. That's how enraging. You see Christians going, eh, and uh, Muslims going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dude. And then, and then Christians have to bring up stuff like beheading babies and they say, oh, they're crucifying Christians right now. They're crucifying. Yeah, Christians crucified Jesus. Where do you think they're learning this from? Because it's sexist to insult <laughs> women under any circumstance. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. What about Jody Arias? I think she was framed by a <laughs> white male capitalist society. If you want to get into that, make that a talking point if you can handle it. <laughs> where, do you, where do you get the facts on that one? Oh my god, the facts. There's no such thing as facts. You can make statistics do whatever you want. Try new math. Yeah. 2 plus 2 is 5 now. Wake up, America. <laughs> Firearm fe uh, felonies are low. Down as gun ownership seems to be expanding. Does that have any impact in your life? This is classic faux news. What is going on here is you are manipulating statistics to make yourselves the heroes. Mm -hmm. All I know when I turn on the TV is guys with assault weapons are killing people. Mm -hmm. People are blowing their heads off by accident. Yeah. You guys are insane. It's just so, you contort the statistics to make you win. Sometimes babies' lives are valid, other times they're annoying. <laughs> it has to be caused by fracking because in an area where they fracked, it right. happened. Right. Do the right. math. I, I did. I did do the math. It turns out two plus two is four, because <laughs> what happened was uh, yeah, every, time, the every time they've shown an example of where it's been blamed on fracking, it's turned out it's been uh, methane pockets. Oh my God! You guys have been so brainwashed by no, the gas cool. companies. I, look, it's I, embarrassing. I, I accept your apology, <laughs> uh, Jesse. <laughs> Miles, should I skip you for doing that? No, I swear to God, I could not control that cough. <laughs> Going around. My kids, I didn't get them vaccinated because it causes AIDS. Yes. And they all have measles and leprosy now. And I gotta be frank, I don't have the immune system to deal with it because my parents didn't give me vaccinations. You know, like when that guy was trying to rob a train the other day. He got beat up by somebody who's trying to rob. He's a train robber, that's workplace violence. But no, they had to make it into a jihad thing just because he had an assault rifle, an AK or whatever which is his culture's favorite gun. Where do you think they get it from? We have in the West an enslavement culture. We put people in jail. Millions of people are in jail. They're slaves. So ISIS sees that and they see America's number one. So they go, uh, okay, slavery's cool. I guess we'll have sexual slaves. We did that to them, okay? We taught them slavery is cool. We're supposed to have abolished slavery and we're teaching every terrorist in the world to rape. That's fucked up, and guess what? It's time the West apologize for all the damage that jihadis are doing around the world, because we made it happen. It's already illegal to wear the hijab, the, the bakha, or the niqab for, I mean, or the hijab for uh, passports and driver's licenses. And now they want to ruin this too. It's like in France, when Sarkozy banned the bakha, he, uh, he, he was acting like there's this big, ooh, is, I'm scared of Muslims, oh my God, Paris is in danger, oh, we better not let them wear their ceremonial garb. Paranoid much? Racist much? 
If you want to see a scary, oppressive culture, you need a selfie stick, because it's you, white westerner. You are the problem. Have you ever seen high heel shoes? Have you ever tried to put those on? They kill. A burqa doesn't hurt. I mean, it's kind of hot in the desert when it's black polyester, and I guess white flowing cotton would be a bit better, but high heel shoes are, are like putting your feet in a clamp. That's one of the reasons I think Caitlin is so brave, because she's had athletic running shoes on before. She knows how comfy they are, and she still chose to wear our oppressive burqa shoes, basically. Look at Africa with the antelopes running everywhere and hi I'm Gambe holding up a baby lion. China, what's for dinner tonight? You know? Ch China, China has tens of thousands of years of cuisine we could be taking advantage of. But no, we say, get out of here with your with, the, with your crazy oriental rugs. You made me come here. You're making me do this ser stupid ceremony for your, your ridiculous country. Can I at least wear my niqab? And the answer to that is hell yeah.